Welcome dear all in our YouTube channel LXS project and today we will see a new hardware setup. Title name is 3 phase fault detection system. So hardware model is as available on your screen. You can see. Okay so let's see uh, each and every components one by one. So we are using uh, first uh, here uh, 3 transformers to step down the voltage levels to measure the voltage okay via a microcontroller. So we are using one uh, uh, 09 uh, volt uh, and uh, so 500 milliampere transformer here okay you can see we are using three transformer here for each phase r y and b okay and uh, next component uh, you can see we are using one power adapter here you can see 5 volt power adapter to provide power supply to all these systems right and, uh, okay. next component uh, you guys can see we are using a uh, uh, current and voltage sensor uh, market's most accurate uh, current and voltage sensor you can see it is actually ina uh, 219 uh, current and voltage sensor okay uh, it is also removable uh, for study purpose okay all three are removable okay, so this this uh, sensor is we are using to measure current and voltage of the system okay, and here you can see we are using one main switch here to turn on of the entire system uh, next component we can see uh, this is a uh, brain of the system uh, node is USB to 6 6 okay it is responsible to handle entire operation like running LCD and measuring the current and voltage and detecting the faults. So, this is responsible. It is also removable as you have seen. And we are using one uh, uh, 20 cross 4 larger screen uh, to show all the parameters. Okay, so it is also removable. Okay, from here we can also remove it. Okay, like this uh, board. We are using the three uh, switches to create artificial short circuit fault to demonstrate the system. So, you can see I uh, can press this in this way. Okay, so we are using three switches. Next, uh, uh, here uh, three switches are connected. Okay, this is for, for the purpose of opens or to create artificial open circuit switches. Switch. Okay, next component we can see yeah, we are using three loads here to see to demonstrate uh, R Y B phases. Okay, if any phase is not not uh, turning on or off or any uh, anything, uh, we can see using this uh, load. Uh, okay, and one most important component here uh, is uh, we are using one of uh, uh, 1000 watts of voltage regulator okay it is to vary the voltage to create artificial uh, over voltage and under voltage fault condition okay so they were using this knob okay this is uh, actually dimmer ac dimmer to 1000 watt so let's uh, turn on the system uh, main switch is already on okay and all the switches are on load for load so let's uh, turn on the system using these switches okay the system is turning on we can see system has turned on and uh, you can see voltage is around uh, 229 and 222 for okay, around 230 volt each and every phase is around 230 volt and current is around 130 milliampere 150 milliampere 128 milliampere okay because all the uh, loads are uh, similar nearly identical that's why uh, current is also same okay and there is no fault you can see each and everything showing okay 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 this line is for uh, uh, to demonstrate uh, uh, open circuit fault and this is what short circuit fault okay and here we will see over and under voltage fault condition uh, sorry we will first uh, demonstrate uh, OC switch uh, open circuit fault so for this we are using these three switches for RYB okay so let's uh, turn off uh, RFS and see what happens see I have turned off RFS so you can see it should showing OC means open circuit fault at RFS okay by which you can also see current is zero in open circuit condition uh, uh, current becomes zero and voltage becomes full okay so let's uh, turn on RFS again okay so you can see fault has recovered okay same for V phase see current is zero now and it is showing OC at Y open circuit fault at the Y phase so let's uh, turn on again okay so fault has recovered let's uh, do it same for a uh, phase of B okay last phase so you can see open circuit fault at B phase recovering the fault okay so each and everything is okay now uh, now, now we will see so, uh, short circuit uh, condition faults using the same models for okay. this we will use these switches okay so let's press uh, for a uh, Y phase sorry R phase see it is showing a short circuit fault at R phase okay I am going to release it so you can see voltage drop has occurred here from 230 volt it is showing 190 volt and current is increased from 130 to 180 so I am going to release the button see voltage is recovered to 230 volt and current is reduced okay let's let's uh, test for a uh, b phase sorry y phase here is the switch for y phase so i'm gonna press it see showing short circuit fault at 
wife is okay currently you can see more than 200 million ampere and voltage has dropped to 191 from 230 volt so i'm going to release the button see 230 volt and current is reduced okay same for a b phase see showing short circuit fault see showing short circuit fault at b phase okay and now wow this is around uh, 186 okay see okay thank you so much so uh, let's uh, press a uh, short circuit through it so uh, LED light will reduce intensity is in intensity will reduce see okay for set the same okay uh, let's uh, now time to demonstrate uh, or voltage fault and it is around to 30 volt that's why it is not saying any kind of fault here okay all the faults are okay so see i'm gonna uh, see i have reduced the voltage so voltage is less than 200 volt okay all the voltages are below 200 volt so that's why it is showing under voltage fault condition okay let's increase the voltage using the same knob so i'm increasing the voltage see voltage has recovered and I'll just showing there is no fault each and everything is okay okay and uh, for, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, see the last fault uh, that is over voltage fault so let's uh, test uh, using the knob okay so I'm gonna increase it slowly slowly okay so you can see voltage has moved more than 240 volt okay that's what is showing over, over voltage fault okay voltage is higher than uh, required okay as you can see all the switches are more than 240 that's what is showing over voltage fault so let's increase the voltage decrease or decrease the voltage to maintain the normal voltage okay so you can see voltages are around 230 volt that's why there is no fault showing that means our model is working so fine thank you so much for watching the video so you can see all the setup here okay these are the transformers uh, voltage regulators this is a 5 volt uh, adapter okay if any student want to purchase this model please mail us on the given uh, email address Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.